Hello friends and welcome to another video. So the M1 Man MacBook Pro has been my daily driver for a now helping me not only with simple tasks such as searching the web content consumption and checking emails, but it's also been the device that I use to run this YouTube channel. It's what I use to create thumbnails, write scripts as well as edit the videos on this channel. It's crazy to think that this device has been out for almost three years now with so many new MacBooks out. It's probably making you wonder if this is still a good purchase in 2044. If you're new to the channel, we cover everything tech and gaming. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Without further ado, let's get back to the video. When it comes to my 14 inch M1 MacBook Pro, I'm currently rocking the base model which comes with 16 GB of RAM, 512 GB of storage and 8 core CPU and a 14 core GPU. I originally had the 16 inch M1 MacBook Pro but decided to switch to the 14 inch due to its portability as someone who likes to work on the go. If felt like the right decision switching to the 14 inch MacBook Pro, let me know down in the, down in the comments which MacBook size you prefer whether it's the smaller 14 inch MacBook Pro or the larger 16 inch MacBook Pro. Moving along, let's talk about what makes this MacBook so special in 2024. For me, it would have to be the price as you can find this laptop for around $1,200 renewed or refurbished. This is definitely a steal as you are getting all of its amazing features at such an affordable price. But in my opinion, this laptop cannot be touched at this price point. Yes, you could get the 15 inch M3 MacBook Air for around the same price range. But in my opinion, this is a better deal as you get the Liquid Retina XDR display with promotion, which means you'll have 120Hz refresh rate instead of 60 on the MacBook Air. As for RAM, you'll have 16 GB of RAM instead of 8 GB of RAM. You'll also get more storage with the M1 MacBook Pro as you're getting 512 GB of storage instead of 256 GB. Not only that, but the additional ports on the M1 MacBook Pro is definitely a bonus as it comes with a HDMI port as well as an SD card reader as well as three USB-C ports, which could be a deal breaker for some people. Another thing to consider is the fact that the M1 MacBook Pro comes with fans, whereas the MacBook Air comes with no fans. So if you plan on doing some intensive work on your laptop, this may be something you may want to consider before making your purchase. This is not a comparison video, but I just wanted to explain how amazing this device is at this price range. When it comes to build and durability, as you can see, this laptop is still in great condition, which is to be expected as this is a premium device. The laptop is still sturdy and durable and feels just as good as it felt since its release. This is a pro device made by Apple. So it's definitely built to last years. The keys and trackpad still feel smooth to the touch and have not given me any issues whatsoever. Moving on to the display, you get a 14.2 inch Liquid Retina XDR display with a 3024 by 1964 resolution, which in my opinion has to be one of the most beautiful displays on a laptop to date. When it comes to the screen's brightness, the M1 MacBook Pro comes with a sustained brightness of 1. Triple zero nits, but has a peak brightness of 1600 nits. When watching HDR content as someone who loves to use his laptop as a way to consume content, I enjoy using this laptop on my desk, the couch, or even on the bed to watch some of my favorite shows, movies, or anime. With this display, you're getting deep in blacks, which make watching dark scenes of a movie quite enjoyable. Not only that, but the colors on this display look stunning which is why I love editing videos on this device. But as for the performance on this device, it's been keeping up with all the tasks that I throw at it. This M1 MacBook Pro has been great when it comes to handling all that I do for this YouTube channel, which is why I don't feel the need to upgrade to the M3 Pro MacBook Pro. I didn't feel the need to upgrade as it just didn't feel necessary. Yes, the M3 Pro MacBook Pro is faster, but is it that much faster to the point where I'd want to spend thousands of dollars to purchase a new one? In my opinion, it just isn't worth the money. The M1 MacBook Pro is still a beast of a laptop and it will continue being my main laptop until further notice. As for the speakers, in my honest opinion, they sound great. 
I like to watch shows on my laptop or listen to music and I'm telling you right now I have zero complaints whatsoever. These are really good laptop speakers that can get quite loud. Let me know what you think. To wrap this video up, if you are thinking about whether or not the M1 MacBook Pro is still worth it in 2024, let me just tell you it is 110% worth it. As you can't go wrong with this laptop. The M1 MacBook Pro provides users with a great laptop experience and it can handle anything that you throw at it. It's not the fastest Apple laptop out in the market right now, but it's providing you with a lot of performance at an incredible price. It's crazy to think that a device that has been out for almost 3 years is still keeping up and shredding through everything everything I throw at it. If you're looking to save money and looking for a laptop that will last you years, then the M1 MacBook Pro is the laptop for you. If you're someone who needs more power in performance, then you should definitely take a look at the M1 Max MacBook Pro. It's been a pleasure and I'll catch you guys on the next video.